Okay, so here's the plan. We jump the heck out of the water. We attract as many sharks as possible, and then you two jump in. I hope they like sushi. Oh, I hope they like Italian. Back up again, because each one of you gets a fish head in your pants. I'm going to be chumming the water with lots of delicious fish. Bringing all the sharks in. And then I'm going to basically... Yeah, sharky, sharky. Some scientists do. Then Tori's in for a terrifying afternoon. Like me? Tori or Grant? Who will be eating for dinner? Cocktails and appetizers! As for... Coming up next on Mythbusters. Can you play dead to avoid being eaten by the sharks? Guys, I think we proved our point. Come back in. We confirmed this one. It's better to play dead than to thrash around in shark-infested waters. Well, nothing touched me. Well, I'm not sure yet because... Uh, they might have just been attracted to Tori. He might have been a bigger target. So what are you saying? I'm thinking to do this properly. Now you play dead, and now you thrash around, and we see if the sharks switch to going after you, and then we'll know for sure. We're gonna go back in the water? Oh, damn you and your science! Unique way. Let's get a conclusion from the testmeister. Well, obviously we're not gonna throw a real dog in the water. Why not? That seems like it'd be the easiest way to test this man. Don't listen to him, Gertie. All right, well, since we can't use Gertie... It's gonna have to be a pretty ball. Oh, look how much you want this. Sorry? Hoping to take some syringes full of, like, you know, dog scent. And mm -hmm. I can't. Yeah, there's two glands, actually, anal glands. And it's the reason why dogs sniff each other. Stuff. Think of them as a business card that the dog leaves behind when he goes to the bathroom. But on a routine basis, we can... TV. Your anal glands are expressed for science. <laughs> Thanks very much for coming in. You washed that hand, right? Of course. Okay. We'll see ya. And after an understandably hasty... How great is this? We're in the Bahamas. It's beautiful. And we're... Terry and Grant have made a realistic-looking, smelling, and acting dog. So we'll be able to test this without putting any dog... Urine, blood, and anal secretion. Maybe a little flavor in the water is going to attract the sharks. Zero. Grant's done the team proud with this bill. Anal secretions. No, no. You can't get back on the boat. I don't care how many sharks are down there. Two. Two sh behavior didn't change. They didn't even, like, go up to the dog. They just ignored it. Well, obviously, we couldn't have put a real dog in the water, so I think this is the best possible experiment we could do. Robo-dog looks like a dog, swims like a dog, smells like a dog. From this, I think we can call it. Yep, and I think we'd have to call that busted. <laughs>